For today's video, gagawa tayo ng calamares. Yes, you heard it right. Gagawa tayo ng calamares, di ba? Bagong-bago. Hmm? And I'm with snow. So, kung gusto nyo malaman ang recipe namin, ni snow, just keep on watching. Before we proceed, here's the ingredients that we need. Let's go! The first thing that we need to do is to cut our squid to make a ring shape. Then put it on the strainer para ma-reduce yung pagkawatery ng ating squid. Then just keep on doing it again. Ay, nako! Hindi talaga natin may iwasan merong pasaway. At makukulit! Pag meron kayong mga super cute na pet sa bahay. Ikaw, excited ka na ba? Ha? Ha? Hop, hop! No, 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 no! Second thing that we need to do is to get your egg, crack it, and beat it. Grind the salt for about 5 times, or maybe have a several pinch of salt. It depends on how much salty do you like. Don't forget to put the pepper and have a sum of it. Mixed it well. Put the pepper and salt in your flour. Again, you can adjust and add some salt and pepper. It depends on how much taste do you like. Let's start dipping first. Get a squid and dip it on your flour. After that, put it in your beaten egg. Make sure yung squid is coated lahat ng egg para dumikit yung breadcrumbs. Then after that, i-roll mo lang siya sa breadcrumbs. Super easy, right? Kahit mga bagets, kayang-kayang gawin to. By the way, ito po pala yung gamit naming breadcrumbs. Super dali lang niyang hanapin sa mga supermarkets. And sobrang affordable lang niya. Imagine for 1 kilo, it costs less than 150 pesos. Pwedeng-pwede mo na siyang magamit sa iba't ibang klase na recipe. Diba pati mga pusa nag-aagree na? Continue mo lang yan, Bess. Malapit na tayong matapos. Pansin nyo ba, wala na yung mga makukulit? Ito sila, o, oh, pinalabas ko sila kasi sobrang gugulo. Yung tipong hindi ka pa nga nangakaluto, pero gustong-gusto na nila agad kumain. Sa mga solid at nakapanood na ng first vlog ko, at sa mga bago po ngayon, ito po pala si Ice at saka si Ray. Tara na nga, magluto na tayo bago pa sila magalit. 
first heat the pan after that put the oil make your fire in a not so high but not so low para uminit yung mantika natin as you can see nagi start na siya mag boil by the way naka super speed lang po pala tong video I spend almost 1 to 2 minutes bago mag-boil yung mantika. To check kung okay na yung mantika, just dip the chopstick at pag nagkaroon ng reaction, mainit na yung mantika. Now, let's start frying our calamares. Make sure hindi sila masyadong dikit-dikit para mas maluto sila ng maayos. Oops! Ngiti-ngiti din para mas lalong sumarap yung niluluto natin. Check the sound. Sarap sa ears, no? Ewan ko ba pag may naririnig akong ganitong prito, natutuwa ako. Comment down below kung ganun din kayo. We're almost done. I suggest lang na yung gagamitin nating pusit is mas malaki para mas maganda yung itsura niya. At syempre, para mas ma-emphasize yung pagiging ring shape niya. Okay, we're done. You can choose your dip or sauce. Either mayo, ketchup, chili sauce, and marinated vinegar. Para sa akin, perfect combination niya is yung vinegar. By the way, this product is not sponsored. It's time to serve it to our loved ones. Mama! Yay. And sa makukulit at super cute nating mga pets. Super excited na silang matikman to. Mas excited pa nga sa akin eh. Diba? Gustong-gusto nila. I really advise na yung mga niluluto natin is not just for us humans, but also for our pets. Super good alternatives, lalong-lalo na sa mga hindi nagka-cat food or dog food. Less na tayo ng gastos, nasarapan pa sila. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, Subscribe and hit the notification bell for more updates.